Lucas Media. So, yesterday, the University of Memphis Tigers played against the Missouri Tigers. And Memphis ended up winning 70 to 55. Memphis is coached by Coach Penny Hardaway, but he unfortunately was suspended over some recruiting violations a couple years ago. And I'm looking at taking a look at the roster. And I see one person is missing. And that is who you see in the thumbnail with Drake, Mikey Williams. Now Mikey should be playing right now. But he's facing charges, serious charges in California, which if convicted, will land him in jail for a really long time. And I just want to give a, a brief backstory. Mikey was one of the top middle school players and up playing with uh, Bronny James. He ended up winning Max National Freshman of the Year. Max Prep National Freshman of the Year. And then you start seeing him roll around with Drake and... Uh, LeBron LeBron Sr all these top athletes and entertainers everybody wanted to be associated with Mikey Williams then now this is prior before the NIL deal he had his own show on overtime and they was just following his whole high school career at least for the first two years I believe everybody everybody knew who Mikey Williams is if he was on the basketball scene even I would even say the basketball casuals. He ended up surpassing over a million followers. And I believe that might have been before his freshman year. Either that was around that time. And I know now he has a couple million followers on on his various social media platforms. Well, over the last couple of years, Mikey's game has been exposed by some NBA scouts and even other players a lot of people said that they feel that Mikey was just really a for highlight a baller's life highlight an overtime highlight a TikTok highlight but when you watch him play the game he seemed uh well his defense was definitely questionable and sometimes he just seemed like he didn't care to be out there now he went from being the number one player in his class to number three. Then he slid all the way down to outside of the top 50. I believe he fell to 77 according to ESPN by the big, by the end of his senior year. And he ended up he ended up getting an endorsement deal with Puma, and he was making millions off the court because you know he they couldn't be paid. He wasn't a pro yet. Well, over May, I think it was May. March and May, I think it was March. March and May. March, April, May, one of them was my bad job. But he ended up getting caught with those charges for allegedly uh, shooting at a car and bullet holes in it. Some unwanted guests showed up at his $1.2 million mansion. And it's unfortunate because Mikey Williams may never play basketball again because he can't play at University of Michigan or University of Memphis until this is over. Now, what happened? Do we blame the parents? Do we blame the influencers, the people that was around him? Because it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard not to get wrapped up in the fame like that. You know, I have, and I'm sure some of you guys, or even, you might, even if you don't have kids, you got nieces, nephews, uh, cousins who are, even if it's not sports, they're treated number one in whatever field they're in. And it, sometimes a lot of that can go to your head. Now, there hasn't been a thing out too long ago. Like, are, the, are we giving these kids too much exposure? And I used to say, it, you know, it ain't fair. And let them kids get all the exposure they can. But now I'm starting to wonder because we may never see Mikey Williams play on the basketball court again. And just several couple years ago, everybody figured he would be a top five pick in NBA draft. But he's living like an NBA player. Multiple cars, driving around in Lamborghinis, standing next to Rolls Royces while you're still in high school. And, you know, it's kind of remind me of a more of a Lenny Cook or 
even just some people in your neighborhood where they, they get a, just a little bit of fame and they don't focus on the main thing, which is making it to the league. Now, you do have people who were ranked lower than Mikey, but they worked on their skill set. And also, you know, height takes 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 in place. And now they're rated higher. And some of these people are projected to be lottery picks in the upcoming draft. And it just makes you wonder, like, are we doing too much for these kids? Should we just let these kids be kids and today at least get the... I would say at least 10th, 11th grade, at least. You know, but it's hard to say. I mean, who's to say if I didn't have 5 million followers, I wouldn't have lost my mind too, you know? And I do feel like Michael Williams made a mistake and hopefully he can play basketball again if found innocent. But this is the warn, a warning to people in... Like I said, you got you got nieces, nephews, kids, and I don't care if they're the one student at the school academically. You can't let sometimes you can't you cannot let success go to these young people's heads because it's only a, a it's only a quick flash when it comes to life. You know how many people that we all grew up with that that was that what if guy? What if they would have focused? What if they would have took school more serious what if they wouldn't have gotten the car to go rob a bank what if they didn't stand on that corner for just that one day we are all of us went to people's school with people like that i know so many people who had nfl potential but they're doing professional prison time still and some of these people are in their 40s now and you know and they just had a little bit they just had home local local town fame and I can keep going on and on about this stuff like this truly breaks my heart because we should be seeing Michael Williams at Memphis right now if not start coming off the bench but I believe that he he still had a small chance of making it to the NBA because those rankings don't mean anything when you go to college and when you go from college to the pros they don't mean anything so Mikey Williams had a clean fresh start that's just my opinion. Do y'all think that these kids are getting too much fame too fast? 